Okay guys, so I'm going to give you guys part one of removing your K-Series. Um, for this specific car, it's a 2000 Acura Integra for those that don't know. Um, I plan on pulling this motor. Something's going on with it in the summer. This motor overheats. So I got this motor prepped and ready to go in. Um, so what I'm going to start with um, on this video is probably just going to be removing the harness, unplugging everything, uh, and draining the fluids, and I may stop it from there. I don't know how far I want to go with it on this video, um, but yeah guys, so let's go ahead and get to it, and hopefully get a bunch of this knocked out today. I'm just going to start yanking some parts off and getting it ready for this guy. Remember, this is a stock K24 A2 motor as well with the head that I got freshened up. Um, but all all the videos for this are before this video. So keep that in mind if you guys wanted to watch the progress of this. But let's go ahead and get to unplugging this harness and getting it all off. So let's go ahead and get going with that. Okay, not sure what this is for, air intake temp sensor, I don't know, but I put an X on it because it's not being used, made some marks on here to help me when I put this back together, um, so down here on the transmission, this is a note to myself, this wire that you see goes all the way around. That goes to this here. Okay. Now the transmission sensors, I don't want to get those incorrect. Tying to the same harness right here. Let me see if I can get a light. Give me one. All right. So there's a sensor right there there on the back of the transmission. That's the one I'm worried about on the all-wheel drive one. But, gotta remember there's that sensor and then there's this one right here. So, those two I gotta make sure get transferred on to the all-wheel drive transmission. And also over here forget what that sensor is but that one also needs to be unplugged but it's tucked in there pretty well so that one would be their problem but I'm gonna get to it
All right, so I have pretty much the harness all off now. Uh, the injectors, everything that follows leads around here. Um, let's see. Next, I have to remove... Let's see. This is the alternator power, the alternator plug. Let's see. If you follow these wires, one, I believe, is for the knock sensor. Maybe. And the other one is this one. Whoops. It went to the starter, and there's still two more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just the power left to the starter, and then that's this harness right here. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. And then the only ones I haven't got is that sensor and then the crank sensor. And that's the entire harness, just like that. Okay guys, I'm trying to debate um, how far I'm going to go with this in this video. I did already start removing my grounding kit. Don't forget guys, I do sell grounding kits for several chassis. This is one of them. Um, I think I'm going to remove the fuel rail and the intake manifold. And um, I'm going to have to drain the coolant. So I'm going to jack it up, drain the coolant so I can remove these coolant lines to the throttle body. And I will probably do the transmission a separate video at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and drain the coolant, remove the intake manifold, which is one, two, three, four bolts. And I think there's three at the bottom. Yeah, four at the bottom, including this one. So... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I do have a new fuel system for this car. Uh, I haven't done a video on that, but I will eventually. So in this video, I'm going to finish off pulling the intake manifold, fuel rail, the coolant lines, uh, draining the coolant, and probably end it right there. So not too bad, guys. Remember, I think it's like, a, I don't know, if the little cam sensor over here. I don't know what it is. I can't remember what it's called. But those are the only two sensors I haven't got to on this side, which eventually I will. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and drain this sucker and uh, start, start ripping everything else off that I need to, that I mentioned.
almost done. Shift linkage and the axles really.